and we're going to chat about having beautiful, youthful skin. Here's the fun thing about Young Living. We get to talk about all kinds of different things. There's such a variety of topics um, that we can cover with Young Living and with our wellness goals. So I want you to either think in your head or write down on a piece of paper. I want you to rate your skin health. And tonight we're specifically talking about the face. So obviously we've got whole body skin um, wellness goals, but tonight just thinking about your face, zero to 10, you don't have to put this in the chat, but I just want you to rate your current satisfaction with your facial skin health. Think about that. And then this might be a little bit uncomfortable, but we're all friends here. I want you to put in the chat, what about your facial skin do you love the most? What do you love the most about your face? And you can't say nothing. <clears throat> Chance. <laughs> I know you just did. What do you love most? The glow. Yes, Suzanne, that's Good. Think about what you love most about your facial skin. Thank you, that's sweet. And then think about what do you want to improve? If you could improve one thing about your facial skin. Good, Lynette. What would you improve if you could wave a magic wand? Inflammation. Like the, the, she has a clear face, improved complexion, wrinkles. I was just thinking, wrinkles, got to get that one in there. Moisture, dryness. Okay, so we all, here's the point. We all can readily think of things that we want to improve <laughs> when it comes to our facial skin. In fact, I meant to look it up. The facial skincare beauty industry is a huge industry, like enormous, because everyone is looking for ways to improve something about their skin. And people are willing to spend a lot of money to get beautiful, youthful skin. And we have answers. Young Living has answers that are natural, that don't have all the junk in them. Um, and there's really an answer for every type of skin type, every age along the spectrum, Young Living has the answer. Okay, so tonight you're going to hear from several people to talk about things that they love, products that they love, some DIY, um, some fun things that you can do for your facial skin. And I want to start off with Suzanne. And she's going to share with us about some things that you wouldn't necessarily think about that will help improve your skin, your facial skin. Suzanne, are you able to unmute yourself? Yes, and I can finally hear. I don't know what happened, but I finally awesome. got it straightened out. Good uh, so you. I Googled right quick the dollars spent. The average woman spends $313 a month on skin care that co computes to $3,756 a year. And they're saying the lifetime is $225,360 spent on skin care. That's a little bit speechless at this moment, computing all of those numbers. I know. That's pretty phenomenal. Thank you for finding that. And here's what it shows me with Young Living. I can get these products that they are, they're going to be on a higher end, but they last a long time. And right. so $313 a month. Uh, no, that's not yeah. what I'm spending on my skincare. No, not at all. People are willing to, it's a priority. Thanks for finding that. Okay, go ahead. I'm going to talk about, um, hydrating the skin. And I found this information on uh, the Mayo Clinic. The doctor's name was Lawrence Gibson. And he asked the question, does drinking water cause hydrated skin? And he says, although the proper hydration is important, 
it's not clear whether drinking water affects skin hydration in healthy people. Our skin is made up of three layers, the epidermis, the underlying dermis, and the subcutaneous tissue. And if the outermost layer of that epidermis doesn't contain water, your skin will lose the elasticity and it's gonna feel rough. Uh, despite this connection, however, there's a lack of research, research that shows that drinking water impacts skin hydration or appearance. So he says, in order to maintain hydrated skin, these are the steps you need to take. Of course, avoid prolonged contact with hot water use a gentle cleanser, avoid using deodorant, soap, and skincare products that contain alcohol, fragrance, retinoids, or alpha hydroxy acid. And I just quickly Googled or pulled up Young Living site and looked at the two skincare lines that we have, Bloom and Art, and neither one of those have the alpha hydroxy acid in them. He also suggests that we moisturize immediately after taking a bath or shower, washing your hands, use a humidifier in this weather, and wear gloves when you're going out in the cold weather. And of course, if you still have issues, um, you can contact your physician or a dermatologist about that. Now, what we take in affects our skin everywhere. Um, my training has taught me that your, your face, is relative to the status of your gut. <laughs> and that sounds kind of archaic, but uh, if you have a healthy gut, then you're gonna have, I feel like a beautiful glow on your face. I've, it's, I've seen that happen. So in order to keep a healthy gut, we have Life Nine. And this is a capsule. I take it every night. It's a little pill, not very big at all. Take one every night. So I'm gonna to read to you what this has in it. Um, of course they say taking drugs, antibiotics, drinking chlorinated water, consuming sugar, eating a low fiber diet, diet and undergoing stress cause us to need probiotic supplementation. We just, we don't live right. <laughs> um, but Life9, each one of these little capsules has 17 billion, that's B, <laughs> billion beneficial active cultures in it. And it's gonna keep your gut healthy. Uh, the probiotics have been shown to assist the body in manufacturing B vitamins, improving nutrient absorption, support immune function, improve digestion and reduce yeast growth. So it's good in there, it's good for all of your skin the probiotic Life9, and it's just good. The other thing I'm gonna to talk to you about is Ninja Red, and it comes in this size bottle. It's our bottle right now where we're at, and we also have a two ounce package that's real good. This one's really good to pitch in the refrigerator. If you like it cold, I like it anyway. Or if you can put it in the freezer and don't forget it's in there. Uh, it makes a good slushy too for the kids and you too. So I'm going to share with you information about Ninja Red. If you have a pulse, you need Ninja Red. You just do. Um, we're just crazy about this drink. If that's the only thing I could afford, it would be Ninja Red. This is an antioxidant supplement and drink and it's made from wolfberry puree, blueberry, plum, cherry, aronia, and pomegranate juices, grape seed extract. Then they've also added tangerine, lemon, and orange essential oils, stevia, and pure vanilla extract for the flavor. Besides the great taste, Ninja Red has some amazing health benefits. It is the highest known protection against the dangerous superoxide free radicals. And this is documented in the SORAC test conducted by the Brunswick Laboratories. So let's talk about antioxidants briefly. That word gets thrown around a lot, but what does it mean? Antioxidants are substances or nutrients in our foods which can prevent or slow the oxidative damage to our body. So when our cells use oxygen, they produce these free radicals. It's like a waste or a byproducts. It's perfectly natural. 
but we need to get it out of there. Um, the antioxidants then act like, I like to think of them as Pac-Man. And the antioxidants go in there and eat those free radicals, devour them however, but they get rid of it and they repair the damage that's done by those free radicals. Ninja Red has allergic acid, polyphenols, flavonoids, vitamins and minerals. In addition, it has 18 amino acids, 21 trace minerals, beta carotene, vitamins B1, 2, 6, and E, and it's an excellent whole food source. You could live on Ninja Red alone if you ate nothing else. You could survive very well on Ninja Red. It also keeps the uh, glycemic index down. It has a glycemic index of 11. So anybody that's concerned about um, that issue, let them know it's only 11. It's, uh, it's an amazing product. And of course, we take these internally. It's reflected in the outside of our skin, facial uh, everywhere. <laughs> Absolutely. I love how you summed it up. We take it internally, but it's reflected in our skin. Thank you, Suzanne. Uh -huh. Lisa, can you share with us about one of our favorite oils and how it helps facial skin? Okay, can you hear me? Okay, I can't hear. Okay. Um, okay, so I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about frankincense, absolutely one of my favorite oils. Um, right alongside peppermint. But anyway, so tonight talking about facial care with frankincense, um, our facial care is something that gives us confidence and happiness when we know that our face looks good. And so back when I first started using the essential oils, I came across a recipe to put frankincense in a DIY with facial pads that has frankincense and um, I put myrrh in it now as well, but it is, um, it, I take these little pads, it's got water, almond oil, witch hazel, and then frankincense and myrrh. And this is really all I use on my skin. So frankincense is in, or on my facial skin. Frankincense is in a lot of skincare products, a lot of high-end products, but it is also um, in a lot of Young Living's facial and skincare products. So I looked on the website and tried to find the different ones that frankincense was in. It is in the, <clears throat> it's in the art collection. And I was just kind of highlighting some of the words that it says about the product and because of all the ingredients that are in there, including frankincense. So um, in the art collection, it talks about how it nurtures and moisturizes, moisturizes your skin, leaving it looking brighter and feeling more refreshed. It's also in uh, the Bloom products. And it gives a brighter and more luminous skin using natural clean ingredients. And it leaves you with radiant glowing skin. Um, it's in the Boswellia wrinkle cream, which moisturizes the skin while minimizing shine and reducing the appearance of fine lines. It's in the Wolfberry eye cream. Um, and it, this cream soothes the tired eyes and minimizes the appearance of fine lines. It's in the sheer loom, which you put on under your um, makeup. It's visibly, it visibly brightens and balances skin tone. And it's also in the acne treatment that we have. So it's in a lot of our uh, skincare products, facial products, such as those. And I say frankincense is probably good from every, for everything from head to toe, but it is definitely especially good for your skin. It encourages also emotional balance. You can use it for, um, I like to put it in my diffuser and stuff just for um, spiritual support and focus. And so there's so many things that it's good for, but as far as skin, it definitely um, is something, like I said, I, I love all these other products that Young Living has, but honestly, I have stuck with these pads and my skin. Now there are things that I would like to do differently. I'd like to get rid of the freckles and the blemishes and all those things. 
But one thing when you were asking about what you loved about your skin is my face is so soft because I use these morning and night. And so frankincense is definitely one of my very favorite oils because of that. Mm. That's awesome, Lisa. Thank you. We often say that Frank is our BFF in the young living world and yep. you've seen why, yep. all the reasons. Very cool. Ashley, um, and Lisa, Ashley is asking if you'll type out the recipe for the- I've got it typed up. I didn't know if you could um, like put it somewhere. I don't know. I can send it. I can just send it to everybody if you want, but- Yeah, um, if you'll do that, put it in Believe Team maybe. Um, okay. this evening and then people can grab it from there. Yep. Pretty awesome. Thank you for that. Um, Ashley is going to talk to us um, and then Chance, you're right after her with your story. But um, Ashley is going to talk to us about the oils that we got last month for free from Young Living. Hopefully you got most of them or some of them and some of them are a little bit different and rare. She's going to tell us how we can use some of those uh, freebie oils for our skin. Okay, so the oils that were mentioned or that were available last month in the promos were Mastrante, Orange, Tea Tree, Manuka, and Geranium. And so um, every single one of them are good for like natural glowing skin and your complexion. Um, but I took it a bit further and kind of wanted to know like... Um, you know, do they work specifically on certain skin conditions? So I pulled out my desk reference. Um, if you don't have one of these, these are fantastic resources. Um, so geranium has been used for centuries for regenerating and healing skin conditions. Hundreds and hundreds of years. Um, it helps cleanse oily skin and revitalizes skin cells. So if you're someone who suffers from oily skin, geranium is one that you could, again, put on a cotton ball or cotton pad and apply to your face. Um, another thing is that the vitality oils that are available, you can also take those in capsules, which will in turn help your skin. Um, Manuka. Manuka is actually one of my favorite oils. Um, when I first smelled it, I was like, well, there's no way I'm applying that to my body. <laughs> um, but over time, it really grew on me. I mean, it, and so now I'm like, I love it. It's wonderful. Um, it's very similar to tea tree, but it's warmer, richer. Um, and it's been used in the treatment of skin problems. Um, let's see. What did it say? Sorry, I had all these things. Okay. Um, anti-inflammatory and anti-acne. So again, keeping in mind, geranium, oily skin, revitalizes skin cells, manuka, more anti-acne, anti-inflammatory, if you have issues with that. Um, and also if you, any kind of skin issue that is stress related, um, manuka helps to pull some of that out of your skin and also helps with stress, which in turn, Makes your skin look better. Um, okay, Mastrante is one that is an antioxidant oil. So again, kind of like what we were talking, what Suzanne was talking about with Ningxia Red, um, taking antioxidants, taking care of free radicals that are going everywhere inside your body. You get those under control, your skin looks better. Um, so that is one of the one. It's also very calming and grounding um, and good for dealing with um, migraine headaches in women. So if you're applying it to your skin, it also helps um, with migraine. Added bonus. The other one is orange. Orange is incredibly, incredibly refreshing and probably of the oils, uh, the number one when it comes to glow um, and creating a glow on your face. Um, just a little helpful hint, do not apply orange oil to your face in the summertime and go outside. Um, it is sensitive to the sun. It will not bode well for you. So apply it at night and go to sleep. Um, also it helps with sleep just as an added benefit. Um, it is, um, circulatory. 
stimulant. So when applying it to your face, it helps the blood vessels and everything move um, and cleanse through your face the way that it's supposed to. Um, it also helps with complexion. If you're, you have a dull complexion or an oily complexion, um, wrinkles and fluid retention. Um, so those are the specific things that orange helps when dealing with your skin. And the last but not least is tea tree. Um, tea tree is anti-inflammatory is like the number one thing um, that it benefits with skin. It also helps with acne or any kind of sore that you get on your face. Um, dabbing it on. I've actually, that's that's probably my go-to oil. Anytime I have like just like a spot where I'm like, oh, that, that's going to be bad later. Um, I'll just take tea tree and like apply it like <laughs> a couple of times. Um, and that's that's usually my go-to. So those are all, um, again, you can apply any of those to your face. They're going to help with just an overall glowing complexion. Um, but if you are like trying to zero in on a specific issue, um, you definitely want to pick and choose um, the one that's that's going to really take care of what you're looking for. Thank you, Ashley. I learned some new things about some oils. I uh, didn't know about orange uh, specifically and all the properties there. Very, very cool. Thank you. Okay, Chance has a couple of stories. Uh, we were talking recently just casually and she told me about a DIY that she had made and the results she was seeing with it as well as um, a new product that she has tried that I think is pretty cool. So Chance, you can take it away. All right. Well, first of all, I know that um, all of our skin issues are typically different. Um, mine has been struggling with cystic acne, um, a mixed, like some places on my face are super oily and some of them are super dry and flaky. Like it has been quite the journey. I never struggled with any of that until after high school. Um, I think some medications messed with my hormone levels. Um, and I just haven't been able to get them back on track. I've tried every outlet possible. That's originally why I stopped eating gluten. Uh, that did not help with that. It helped with other things. Um, and, uh, you know, a lot of people will say, oh, you don't have bad skin and kind of try to downplay it, um, which actually makes somebody feel worse when um, they really are going through things. And I, I tell them, you know, I'm not going to show you. It's really embarrassing. I just cake stuff over it. But Shannon has walked with me through this journey and can attest that it has been bad. Um, it has been a struggle. It's physically painful. But um, so it kind of depends on like, well, you have to figure out what the root is. And it has taken me years to even get on track. Like, is it gut health? Because gut health is tied directly to your skin, um, to all kinds of things. You got to think about brain health, mental health, um, all of these things, stress, stress and hormones can attack your body. Um, that's why like Nincha can help with that. Um, what is this? What is the root of your stress? You know, there's it's not just about like seeing what our issues are and externally fixing them. We've got to get the, to the root of them. So I do want to say that. Um, but recently I was just feeling really discouraged because my skin was getting really bad again and it, it gets physically painful. So I'm like, I just got out of the shower. I was getting ready for bed and just the pain was really getting to me. And so I thought it like burns almost like when you have a really bad sunburn and I thought, how can I make this stop hurting? And it just kind of popped in my head about um, this. It's a lavaderm, lavaderm after sun spray. And I thought, I don't care. I need something on my face to make it stop burning. And so I sprayed some of this in here. And I don't know if it was the same night. I get random ideas and I'm still playing around with this. This is very new. It's been less than a month. But honestly, like I really think it has helped. Um, I noticed my face is slimming back down a little bit. Not that... Um, like the one thing about me that's like always been chunky is my cheeks. Um, but I've noticed when my acne isn't as bad, my face is slimmer and it doesn't hurt. It doesn't bother me. Um, so I ended up, I use about three sprays of this. I've got some on the way. Hopefully it gets here soon. Um, and then I do one drop of geranium. I wanted to add Manuka as well, but my skin is super sensitive even to oils. So I typically add one thing at a time to see, well, one, what works. Um, 
and if I add a bunch of things, it's just like, I don't know what the problem is if I break out worse. So I start right after the shower. Um, and sometimes I use the mint scrub as well to kind of exfoliate, open up the pores. Um, and right out of the shower, the first thing I do is three sprays of this, one drop of geranium. Um, and then directly after this, I do this at nighttime. I usually just get a little bit of CBD. A lot goes a long way. Also, I spill this every time I get a new one. I spill at least a quarter of it and it's expensive and girl is by herself. Okay, so don't be like me. Do not spill your CBD rose stuff that costs way too much for you to be spilling it. So anyways, um, I usually do as little of this as possible because a little goes a long way and just kind of coat my face and neck. Um, and I have noticed it does make your hair a little bit oily if you don't pull your um, hair back. So just uh, know that. But that has seemed to work for me uh, for about a month. Um, not all of my issues are gone. I need to continue drinking more water because um, that's a major thing, um, learning ways to deal with stress. But um, I'm really excited about it. And if that's something you or somebody you know struggles with, um, you could even make up a little sample of that and give it to them, see if it works. Cause like I said, if, if we don't struggle with, you know, what Ashley shared or with what Alicia shared, we can have those ideas in the back of our brain and kind of be like, Oh, you know, somebody is wanting to try young living, but hasn't died, dove in yet. Like it might be helpful for that. So that's all I have for you all. Thanks for sharing your story. And I think that that spray is a brilliant creation DIY of the lavaderm plus geranium and then the CBD rose beauty boost is a serum um, that just came out uh, within the past couple of months it's in my order that should be arriving this week and I've heard rave things about it for skin health and Chance was the first one that I knew who had said hey I'm using it and seeing a difference so pretty awesome thank you Chance for sharing Okay, before we go, I want to share a DIY with you. Okay, I was gonna make it, but in the interest of time, I'm just gonna talk to you about it, okay? This is a glow serum that you can make. So get a notepad by, I'm gonna tell you how to make this glow serum for your face. The first, ingredient, or the first step is get a two ounce dropper bottle. Okay, he, I reused my CBD bottle, so it's free. Okay, you finish your CBD bottle, clean it out, and then you have a dropper bottle right there. Okay, 10 drops of Manuka, which if you heard, you could have gotten this for free last month, um, and Ashley talked about Manuka. 10 drops of rose oil, or you could replace this with about 10 droppers full of the CBD Rose Beauty Boost that Chance talked about. When I did the math, the rose oil ends up being a little bit cheaper, I think, to do than 10 droppers full of the CBD Beauty Boost, but one or the other, rose or CBD. These are some high powered oils here. Blue Tansy, 10 drops of blue Tansy. It does have a blue tint, so rub it in really good and it'll, it'll dissolve on your face. No surprise, 10 drops of frankincense, of course. 10 drops of Royal Hawaiian Sandalwood, which has been used for skin revitalization for centuries. This is an ancient oil that is amazing for skin. And then top it off with a carrier oil. I have argon oil that I'm going to top it off with, and I'm going to start using this glow serum at night. I'm going to add it to my nightly routine. After I take my makeup off, I'm going to do half a dropper full in my hands and put it on my face and um, get a glow and reduce fine lines and wrinkles and just have hopefully that beautiful, uh, youthful looking skin. Now, these are some high powered, more on the expensive end of oils, right? So I added up the cost of this particular uh, DIY. And this is a two ounce dropper. Like I said, I'm gonna use half a dropper a day. So this will last me two months, okay? The cost of all of this is $59. Okay, if you add up each individual drop of oil 
in here, you've got a $59 bottle here. Couple of notes. We just heard people are willing to spend $300 a month on their skincare. So a $59 bottle that lasts me two months, it's a dollar a day. I don't think that that's too shabby with some high quality ingredients. The other thing is a lot of these oils I've gotten for free in promos like the Manuka frankincense was free in December. Um, there are several, sometimes you can enroll in some of the business promos and get the, the sandalwoods or the blue tansies for free, cash in your points on some of Shannon, them. you're frozen. I can't hear you or see you moving. Am I back? Am I back? Maybe? Yes, I think so. Yes, there you are. <sighs> Sorry, guys. It happens. Must have too many people on devices here. Thank you, Ashley, for stopping me. Anyway, I was just saying that you can get a lot of these oils um, for promos or cash in points for them, and that drives the cost down even more. So there's your DIY glow serum for the evening. Anybody have any questions about anything skin related that we've talked about this evening? Either a question or have you learned a new tip or a new product that you want to try for your face? I'm definitely going to try those things that Lisa makes because I've heard about them before and I keep thinking I'm going to make those. I'm going to make those and I never do. So I'm going to follow through with it. Um, can I do a little blurb about another skincare thing that we have? Sure. Um, if you have kids that are going, like my son is 11 and, um, you know, his face is starting to change. I bought him the Young Living Charcoal Bar of Soap. Uh, just a very simple way to start him on a skincare routine. Um, and charcoal is very, very good for your skin and pulling out impurities and things like that. So for anyone who has like a young child, um, preteen that is starting to deal with some of those hormone changes, the charcoal bar of soap the Young Living has is a great start. Great point. I love it. Good deal. Lisa Benham, were you going to say something? Oh, I was, uh, yeah, I was, and I forgot what it was. Um, oh, the, the recipe I will put in, I'll just take a picture or I don't know, I guess I can just upload it. It's a JPEG. So I can probably just mm -hmm. upload it right straight into the leaf team. But what I was going to say was I make mine a little different than I used to when I had DIYs at my house for people because of cost, but it, it's really not that much more, but I add um, the myrrh to it. So I'll just post the way that I actually use it because that's the way I love it. <laughs> that's what we want to know. <laughs> Very okay. cool. Very good. And uh, Lisa, I think it's Lisa Johnson says she just put orange on her face. So she's ready to go. She's going to have a glow tomorrow. <laughs> Way to go. Yes, that was me. Yay. We'll need to see a selfie tomorrow with your glow. All right. <laughs> Very good. Okay. Well, thank you, everybody. I learned a lot tonight and I'm excited to try some of these things. I appreciate you all and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.